So hello everyone, in this video we'll be building the basic structure of our application or of our to-do list. So let's start that. So we have to decide the project directory first. I have decided to work on this directory uh, which is to-do list and I'll be opening it with open with code. I can right click on that and then open with code you can write that. And in here you can create your react app by using the terminal you can right click on that and if you go to this option which is open in an integrated terminal then the terminal will be opened inside the window and in here you can write the commands to create the react.js application or the dummy react.js application so in here i can write npx create react app and I can type uh, anything to do app or anything then this project will be created and after its creation we will be modifying the default application by deleting some, some of the logo files and extra files So I think it would take uh, some time. So let me just pause the video. So I have created this application or uh, this dummy application uh, by writing this command npx create react app. Uh, and then I have named this to do app. Now it's created. Inside that you can see the default uh, applications or like default file structure is there which uh, react gives us. We'll be modifying that and writing our first structure for our application so let me just restart it first by going into the directory which is cd to do app and then i will be restarting that or starting that by npm start then inside the src i will be modifying the things so the fir first thing I will be doing is I will be removing in app.js this header, this complete header. Otherwise, I will be uh, seeing that default React icon rotating or spinning. And I will also be changing this CSS. Yeah. And inside that, I will be just creating one heading called my to do's for now and I don't need this so I can delete that I can also delete this test file if I want but I'll not be doing that also you can delete these uh, report web by vitals and set up test but I'll not be deleting that stuff. Basically, that is for testing our application, so that's not needed actually. We can delete that, but I'll not be deleting it. So app.js, I have just written this. Let's re let me just restart this, and when it's started, then we'll be able to see the default application. Right now, the complete application is running on 3000 port, and it will ask me to change the port because uh, something is already running on this. So this I'm keep running it because uh, I have to show you this and keep working on the project as well, side by side. So we'll be doing that. So it is asking, should we change the port? I said yes, and change the port. Also, we can remove this import that's not needed actually because that's that file is deleted. The basic structure is simple. Let me just start coding first. I can start coding, meanwhile, it is starting my app. So, you have to first create one. 
to do wrapper which will be our main container in which we will be writing both these things which is uh, the input area and our list area we will be writing all of this inside the inside the to do wrapper so we will be writing that in here so let's let's just restart So you can see that it is started. Uh, now I'll be. Uh, let me just show you that. So you can see that it is started, uh, and my to dos is written there. We'll just be writing our basic structure. So the first thing which we have to write is we have to create one div in which we'll be writing our inputs, all the inputs uh, in which we will be writing our data. So I can give it a class name of to do input maybe and inside that I'll be creating one item in which I will be writing label and inside that I can write title and then after that I can write input type equals text I can also write some placeholder if I want so the placeholder can be anything you want. What's I can, I'm just writing what's the task title or anything I can write. And I can close it. I can give it a class to do input item maybe. Yeah, now we can copy this multiple times for the other areas. Uh, this is title, this will be the description. What is happening? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, description. Then I can write what's the description. I can write any message in the placeholder. You can write that as well. I'll be creating one button. Inside that, I'll be writing add. I can also give it a class. And first of all, let me give type to it. And then I can give it a class of primary button. And then I can move forward and create the other div in which we'll be writing our buttons or these two buttons let me just show you that what's happening yeah so you can see that this area will be creating these two buttons and in these two buttons we'll be just for now writing or let me just uh, show you how it is looking till now. So you can see that it is there. Now we'll be creating another div which will be our button area. I can just create one div and inside that I can give a class of button area maybe and inside that I can create two buttons one will be to do and the other one will be completed we are just creating the basic structure in the next video we will be uh, styling all of them
and the other one is completed yeah now after that we have some actual content which is nothing but uh, our to do list area so i can give it a class to do list and inside that i can create one to do list for now h3 uh, for example task one i'm writing uh, the dummy text for now uh, in the next video we'll be changing that content dynamically with these states I can just write task one and some description and I can give it a class of to do list item yeah so this is completed let me just save it yeah so you can see that all the basic components are created in here uh, now we will be styling them inside the next video so let's meet in the another one thank you for watching